Hey guys, it's Russell back and on today's video I'm going to show you how you can make your brake system last almost forever. Now the Jetta right here is a 98, it's 22 years old. I've had the car since it was brand new and I've done this, done this procedure every year for uh, the last 22 years. I still have, the car has 380 5,000 miles it was, it's going to turn over 386,000 miles probably in a week and I still have the original master cylinder all the original brake lines the original wheel cylinders and the original calipers now how is this possible well brake fluid absorbs moisture okay so when you look at a car that's got a couple years on it the brake fluid should at most look slightly honey colored but if you see a lot of uh, cars that have neglected brake fluid it's got a lot of moisture and oxidation in it uh, from the heating and cooling cycles from the heat generated from braking it's going to look black almost like motor oil you don't want that okay brake fluid is almost clear pretty much clear and at the end of a year it should be have a slight honey colored tint to it now getting the old fluid out that's got moisture in it and renewing it with new fluid is very simple. Uh, you do what's called a brake flush. Now a brake flush doesn't require anything other than new brake fluid. Now the brake fluid that you're going to use in your car is going to be dependent on your car manufacturer. Most cars are going to use DOT3 brake fluid. Uh, that's pretty much the standard. Uh, some cars some higher end cars will use DOT4. They are compatible with each other. However, I choose to use DOT4 in all my vehicles. Now DOT4 has a little bit higher boiling point. It's a little more uh, robust brake fluid, but it does come with one drawback. And that drawback is that it will absorb slightly more moisture than DOT3. So in my situation, since I flush this, do this procedure every year, um, you know, it doesn't matter. But please, 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 brake, having a brake system overhaul is very, very expensive. Having leaky calipers and wheel cylinders and all that is very expensive. How long will this go on the original equipment? I don't know. You know, 22 years is pretty good. Uh, the fluid at best in the brake system is only a year old. So I guarantee you, had I not done what I'm doing uh, every year, I would have easily replaced all the wheel cylinders and the calipers. So this car does not have anti-lock brakes. If you do have anti-lock brakes, you will have to follow your manufacturer's procedure for uh, activating that system in order to flush uh, the part of the fluid that's in those solenoids out. But this is very simple. Now, there are many schools of thoughts on how to do this. Since we're going to do all four wheels, uh, some people say to start at the very, like the back uh, passenger wheel. Some say start at the front it's closest. You know what? I've done it both ways and it doesn't really matter. The pedal that I have now is just as as hard and firm as it was when it was brand new. So uh, I don't have a problem with, with air in the line and all that, we're just performing a uh, flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, get you guys on the camera to look at the, uh, <clears throat> the caliper here. Please use the wrench if you're gonna use a wrench. Uh, please make sure it's a six-sided wrench so you don't strip your bleeder uh, screw. Now, I just have an old Gatorade bottle with some holes drilled in. I've got a piece of rubber tubing. This is some vacuum line. And I've got some old brake fluid in the bottom. This will allow me to see any bubbles. There may be some bubbles come out. Uh, there may not be. There will certainly be some when we first do it from the air that's in this line. But the way that I'm going to do it is called the, um, the, the one-man method, the drip method. And I have never, ever had a problem with doing brakes this way and I do all of my vehicles once a year. So if you want to do the two-person method, the pump, hold, and turn, release, and all that, that's fine. Um, and again, this is I do this because out of necessity and it works perfectly fine. So let me get everything set up and show you guys what we're working with under the car. All right, so I took the rubber cap off, 
clean this area with paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and put my wrench on here. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my hose and just put it over the bleeder nipple. It's really cold out here, so this is a little not very flexible. Okay. And I'm just going to crack this open. Now, a quarter turn is fine. And let y'all see what's going on here. All right, so that air that you see is the air that was in the hose. So uh, I'm basically just going to let this, uh, this is just the, uh, it's called a gravity, gravity method. Now make sure to keep an eye on how much fluid you have in the master cylinder itself. Now contrary to popular belief, if I go in and uh, activate the brake pedal, which I will do, you will see, let me open this master cylinder first. All right, you're gonna see quite a bit of air come out because it's gonna push out what's in the line. Now, there is absolutely no air getting back into the system. And the reason is because this is, this is submerged in the fluid. So what I'm gonna do is just let this, um, I'm gonna let the master cylinder drain down. This will focus. Wow. I'm going to let this drain down almost to the bottom and uh, then we'll move on to the next wheel. All right, so I uh, am on the passenger side and we're doing the exact same thing. I'm just pumping the fluid out. Well, first I'm letting it just gravity bleed and then pumping the fluid out. And let's see. All right, so let's see if anything comes out here. When I pump the pedal. Let me be some air come out. Maybe not. Then we'll just fill the master cylinder back up. All right, I just did the um, passenger side rear wheel and let's do one more side.
Now I just need to make sure that the fluid is at the correct level and then we're done with this job. All right guys, so I went ahead and marked down what I did, flush the brake system. <clears throat> We're at 385,679. And this book, <clears throat> sorry, this book that I have is just chock full. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, bought the car January 31st, 1998. It had 50 miles on it, and I have every... Wow, this thing just won't focus. Every single thing I have ever done to it. All the maintenance, even all the, all the fuel fill-ups. Now... Why are we doing this? Well, we were we are doing this to prolong the life of our brake components. And I mean, who wants to have to replace something when you don't have to? It's got all the factory brake parts on it. Other than the pads, rotors, and shoes, that's the only thing that's ever been replaced. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right here while we're looking at the odometer what irks me. Can someone please explain why Volkswagen decided that having a three digit was not necessary this car these a3 jettas when they turn over 299,999 from 0 to 299,999 you will see the word total in the top left hand corner if you do not see the word total in the top left hand corner that means that that has turned over to 300,000 plus miles <sighs> I don't know why Volkswagen couldn't have had the digits in that column for three. It's just stupid. It just makes me angry. Anyway, so, but the, the thing is, this car could easily pass for 85,000 miles. I mean, because that's, if someone looked at the odometer, then they look at the condition of the car um, easily. I mean, e even underneath, there's not a speck of rust on this car nowhere I mean you saw the the underside the calipers and stuff so I mean nothing I mean the dash is perfect yeah so not even anywhere on the seats I do have these seat covers on here but I uh, really have never sat on the seats they've been covered since day one but anyway Volts you know in the A4s you know they'll read 300,000 400 500 600 with that fifth dig or that sixth digit on the end but I don't know why it decided to roll over what a what a stupid thing to do anyway guys thank you for watching uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out maintenance videos etc 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 I will get back to doing the car wash videos the weather has been horrible it's been either raining or cold or whatever and uh, but we will do it so with that being said guys thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that notification bell and I will see you guys on the next video